first great collision in the run-up to the Judgment Day will alter all the ecological balances on Earth, and human beings, animals, and all other living things will be confronted by a succession of terrible disasters. The collisions and the Earth changing its orbit will set the Earth's crust in motion and there will be violent earthquakes all over the planet. In fact, our Prophet, peace be upon him, regards violent earthquakes as one of the portents of the Judgment Day. There will be tremors felt across the planet. The most terrifying thing, however, will be the absence of anywhere to shelter or hide in. Because these explosions will bear no resemblance to the earthquakes people have seen hitherto, this quake will be one from which there is no escape and which begins at the same time all over the world. The earthquakes that take place because of this collision will be followed by volcanic eruptions. Huge fractures will appear in the Earth's crust and magma will be thrown out all over the world. In Surah Al-Zilzal, our Lord tells us, And the earth then disgorges its charges, and man asks, What is wrong with it? On that day, it will impart all its news because your Lord has inspired it. Planets, stars, and countless celestial bodies all over the boundless universe were created by a single command from Allah and have been maintained in a glorious balance through His might. As with all things, Allah has prepared a hitherto unseen end for this magnificent world in the heavens. There will be extraordinary changes in the skies as a result of these two great collisions and disasters will rain down. The events that will take place in the skies are described in verses. On the day when the heaven sways to and fro, by which heaven will be split apart, his promise will be fulfilled. And heaven will be split apart, for that day it will be very frail. A huge cloud of dust and smoke will cover the earth as a result of a collision with a star or meteorite. This cloud of dust and smoke covering the world will be large enough to block out the sun's rays and devastate the ecological system. Indeed, one of the portents of the Judgment Day reported by our Prophet, peace be upon him, is this smoke that will linger for years. As a result of these phenomena, life will come to an end in the sea in the same way as on dry land. The seas, which impart a feeling of cool and comfort under normal circumstances, will suddenly give off an unbelievable heat. Giant waves will be replaced by clouds of flame, and the smoke in the air will consume much of the oxygen. This image of the boundless seas on fire and boiling from end to end will prevail across much of the planet and bring with it all kinds of disasters. The waters frothing and boiling under the effect of the powerful earthquakes occurring as the result of a collision between the earth and a star will consume human settlements and lead to the disappearance of cities and islands. In addition, the changes in the ecological system will also cause the ice caps to melt, in turn leading to rising sea levels. This time, 
for which Allah has appointed a specific time will be one of a terrifying series of merciless phenomena. That day will be one when people feel an indescribable fear and terror in their hearts. People will flee in all directions looking for somewhere to take shelter, but everyone knows that there is no escape from that day. Yet man still wants to deny what is ahead of him, asking, So when is the day of rising? But when the eyesight is dazzled, and the moon is eclipsed, and the sun and the moon are fused together, on that day man will say, Where can I run? No, indeed, there will be no safe place. That day, the only resting place will be your Lord.